What's up guys, it's your boy Demo and welcome back to another Black Desert Mobile video. In today's video guys, we are going to talk about how to get your gear up. So if you guys are struggling, you guys are looking at your CP, trust me, I was there. I was in that place where I was, you know, 2K CP, 1500 CP, 3000 CP, looking at it like, how in the world am I ever going to get to 3K, 4K, 5K, right? And now I'm looking at like, all right, how am I going to get to 6K? So the big thing here, guys, is understand that without anything else in the game, it takes consistent focus and a little bit of patience to get everything that you're going to need to get. Now, before we get into how to do it, I want to talk about the most common mistakes that players make when trying to actually level up a character or get a character that actually has a little bit of presence on the server. Those mistakes are as follows. First mistake is trying to spread yourself too thin or trying to rush the process. Now, I know that's kind of counterintuitive when I'm talking about how to gear up quickly, right? But trying to rush the process, meaning you guys are trying to, you know, buy a bunch of costumes, right, with cash, obviously, that's a mistake that I made, never do it again, right? <laughs> um, or trying to, you know, find secret ways to, like, do anything or spending all your gold on, like, black stones in the market or silver in the market, thinking that that's really going to help you out, which in turn is really just going to shoot you in the foot, um, unless you guys have the disposable income, which you will not have the disposable income until you get to a point where your gear is comfortable now there are some ways obviously where you can just you know harvest herbs and stuff like that um, and sell your breath of life and creation to get some extra income obviously you could sell your skill books like your AP books and stuff like that but I don't typically recommend for that either just because it's gonna hurt you more than help you especially early on but again rushing is one of the biggest mistakes I, I I've experienced and then I see other players making in the beginning um, another one is not seeing it through to the end and seeing it through to the end is I mean establishing at least that one one strong set of gear uh, for at least one of your characters doesn't matter who because obviously you could share your armor between all of your characters so I see people like play a class and they'll switch classes like mid stroke and just be like oh well you know I don't think this character can do what I needed to do and there's a switch and next thing you know you're buying character slots and you got 15 characters all of them are 3000 CP and then you quit. Those are probably two of the biggest mistakes that I see made. So now, um, if you guys have made either one of those mistakes, understand that I've made both of them, and I'm still here. <laughs> okay, this is my my third third 60 plus, right? And it, it was one of those things where if I would have had that laser like focus on the one character, whatever, and trust me, the, the beautiful thing about this is it doesn't matter which character you decide on, just pick one, and then just go, and then if you guys don't like the character, wait until you max the gear out, then switch, because by then, look, new class will be out and then you guys can do your thing anyway especially if you guys are waiting for the dark knight who's coming here pretty soon if you guys are watching this video after march 12 2020 then of course some of this information could change so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and then of course um, i do a weekly buyer's guide every single patch day to let you guys know the changes of the game so if you guys are tuning into those you guys will be hip to all the process and changes yada 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 so now that we got over the mistakes, let's talk about how to actually do this. Here we are on my fresh character that I made specifically for this video. No, just kidding. I didn't make it specifically for this video, <laughs> but I'm going to pull them up. You guys see the resemblance here? Yeah, that's right. See the resemblance? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just less fat man. Um, but I made this character specifically for the purpose of this video um, So you guys can see like when you guys start the game you guys got on this plain Jane gear and you know You're rushing out. You're like, okay, what do I do with my life? You know, how do I you know figure out what to do? Um, do I just run out and I think another mistake that players make I know I said I was only gonna do two mistakes is you, They try to treat this as if it's a traditional RPG where you're just like, you know what? Listen, I don't want to talk to anybody. How do I get into the action? So you run out of town you know, with your little poop scoop, and you just start going to work. You just start farming. And the kicker in this game is farming outside of the story, especially pre-57, is probably going to hurt you more than help you. So in order to help you guys out, I, I put this major tip in here. Stick to the story until you're at least 57 or so. Okay, 55, 57, somewhere like that. And then you guys got a little bit of leniency. But sticking to the story is going to do one thing. And that one thing is going to allow you to level up your little black spirit guy. Now, that little black spirit guy, as you're going through the story, you're going to run into these quests that allow your black spirit to awaken. This black spirit awakening is going to allow you to wear higher quality gear. Higher quality gear, meaning there's different tiers. You have white gear, you have green, you have blue gear, you got purple gear, you got orange gear. Or excuse me, yellow gear, then orange gear, 
than red and the future it'll be pink and like enhanced pink and silver but listen that's we're not going to get into that conversation today so as you guys are going to the quest it's going to allow you to level up now what you're also going to be presented with as you guys are going through this story is some unique opportunities to get better gear now what's going to happen is they're going to start filling up your inventory pretty quick right they're going to start giving you green gear they're going to start giving you blue gear even purple gear i think later in the quest i just can't remember and they're also going to give you guys jewels your primary focus in the beginning is to plus your gear as high as you can don't worry about your substats and what i mean by substats is gear will eventually start to have stats on it, like crit chance attack speed don't worry about any of that just focus on getting your gear as high as you possibly can and the reason why you guys are not going to stress about it like i did when i started was that i was like well i don't want to plus my gear because i'm just going to get better gear so i'll wait to you know get better gear then i'll plus it <laughs> They have this feature in here called Transfer Enhancement. And what Transfer Enhancement allows you to do is, let's say I got a green piece of gear, but I have my white axe at plus 10. I can put my green piece of gear on and I can transfer my old experience over to the new piece of, uh, of equipment and then the experience will carry over. Granted, since it's a higher grade, you will not receive the full XP value, but you'll get most of it. Now, here's the kicker and this is a trap. They're gonna offer you an opportunity to buy cron stones with white pearls if you guys have white pearls and this is going to allow you to get more XP over to your new piece of equipment. Let me tell you up front that it's, it's a waste because as of right now, the way that the current state of the game is, you don't really need them. Yeah, using the cron stones, especially as you get into higher level pieces of gear, uh, could help you but ideally you guys are going to work up to two slot yellows if you guys don't know what two slot yellows is don't worry i'll show you guys exactly what those are but you guys are going to work up to two slot yellows and you guys are going to work into orange then you guys are going to work into two slot oranges and then of course eventually into red but even with all of that like cron stones as of right now anywhere between one and 60 and hell even even one to 70 like just kind of pointless so don't waste your white pearls on those while you guys are doing this so again with the transfer enhancement like it makes your life a lot easy understand also as well when you guys get into orange gear uh, with the transfer enhancement if the grade is the same orange to orange yellow to yellow uh, you get full XP transfer, so there's no reduced XP. So if you're grading up from yellow to orange, orange to red, etc., uh, then there will be a little bit of reduction. But outside of that, if it's same grade to same grade, so if you have a one slot yellow and you go to the two slot yellow and your gear is, let's say, level 35, you'll get that full level 35. But again, on the flip side, just to kind of drill this point home, if you're going from a green to a blue, you're gonna lose a little bit of XP. If you're going from a blue to a purple, you're gonna lose a little bit of XP. Purple to yellow, lose a little bit of XP. Yellow to orange, lose a little bit of XP. Yellow to yellow, full XP. Orange to orange, full XP. You guys get me now? All right, hope, hope, hope we got that point home. With that, you guys are just gonna rush through the story. You guys are gonna you know, do your thing. Uh, you guys are gonna upgrade your gear and then you guys will be pretty much be good to go. So let's fast forward a little bit. I'm going to pop on one of my other 60s that I made that is literally doing nothing these days. And I'm going to talk to you guys about gear in the shop. Okay, because there's a lot of different ways. So when you guys are in the situation where you guys are, we're going to look at the market just for the sake of example and close that out. We're going to go to defense armor just to use this as the way to lead you to the promised land. Um, but the big thing here, guys, is when you guys are getting your your silver together, you guys will start amassing silver um, a little bit at a time as you guys do this. It's going to be a little bit hard to hold on to your silver early on because in this game, the easiest way to make silver is to obviously not need it. If you don't need it, you can make tons of silver. If you do need it, well, it makes life hard. Okay. So when you guys are looking at gear, the fastest way to get yourself situated is use the basic gear fi find yourself into black spirit awakening 3 which will happen relatively quickly i think it'll happen around like level 30 or something if you guys are following specifically the story um when you guys are plusing your gear keep plusing your gear you guys will get some purple gear you can plus that all up um once you get to a situation where you're starting to plus your purple gear and your progression is starting to slow down meaning black stones aren't really helping much this is the point where you're going to kind of shift your focus to start really kind of stockpiling your silver a little bit because ideally you guys are going to want to rush your yellow gear um, what I recommend your first goal be is to get Grunno armor, okay? Because why? Because it has two slots. And this is what I meant by I was going to show you guys what two slots is. And these slots are just crystals that you guys can just throw in your gear. Uh, what I recommend for the crystals is anything with attack and defense, attack or defense. All that other stuff, don't worry about it. Again, you guys are not going to worry about these stats because you're not going to be worried about min maxing until like a lot later. If you guys are, if you guys don't know what min maxing is, min maxing is just looking at your stats, 
taking out what you need over here and then maximizing what you need over there. But don't worry about your stats. Most important thing is just focus on getting your CP up. And the stats that influence your CP are attack power, defense power. So that's what are what's going to be your crystals. And this is why I say you're going to focus on two slot armor. So you guys are going to want to scrounge together six million for your Grunel armor. You guys are going to scrounge four million together for your Grunel helmet, right? This is also two slot. You guys are going to scrounge another four million for your Grunel gloves. You guys are going to scrounge another four million for your Grunel shoes, right? And then whatever your class you guys have chose to, you know, play, because we're doing this efficiently, right? So you're focusing one class, Ranger, Switch, whatever. And you guys are going to also fork up probably another 20 million for your Liverto, because best gear here, we're talking for yellow, and then also for your sub weapon, whatever that is, and however much that costs, you guys are going to get that too. Fortunately, for the sub weapons, they're quite a bit cheaper. So, you know, 5 million, you can just, you know, kind of peel that real quick. And then you guys got a full set of two slot gear. Now, once you guys have that full set of two slot yellow gear, your primary focus in life at this point, literally, is just to get this gear as high as you possibly can 35 to 40 because the beautiful thing about this guys is once you start getting into orange you're done basically because with your orange gear you're pretty much just then doing the whole crafting thing to make it grunt and we'll go over that too in a little bit but once you guys get there i mean it's just pretty smooth selling and steady upgrades from there to get to the you know the best orange gear in the game which is now craftable now if you guys are wondering uh, they just introduced this new feature here called enchanting that you guys can see for with your black spirit and this is something that i from from the bottom of my heart guys you guys do not want to enchant your gear early on just because like once you guys get into yellow once you guys get into one slot orange if you spend all your magical residue from the gear that you feed that you find and and we'll get into that too you're just gonna have to redo your enchants so what i recommend is just stacking your magical residue well how do you get magical residue d you do it by feeding all the rest of your yellow equipment and this is why i'm talking about rushing two slot yellow gear because once you get two slot yellow gear on your character you you're literally going to feed every other piece of yellow gear that you get into your black spirit period you're not going to sell it i you could be like but, D, but i can make a couple million yeah sure you could but you could also power your black spirit uh black spirit is one of those things that i literally neglected for the longest period of time because i didn't think that he was that strong or didn't really do much for me because i thought i was all high and mighty but then when i looked at the bonuses that the black spirit adds you guys can see he adds a significant amount of stats that would take you a ton of time uh to actually get yourself if black spirit wasn't a thing so once you guys get to full two slot yellow, you're literally going to feed everything yellow and below to your black spirit. And that's going to help you guys get a steady power level increase. Now, the next question is, okay, D, we're at full yellow. How do we get to orange gear? And this is what I like to do is consolidate my efforts to maximize my time. And what I mean by that is when you guys are looking to consolidate your efforts and maximize your time, you guys, it's going to bring you to the world map. And you guys are going to look at all of South Media because this is going to be your home for a very, very long time. Now you're going to ask yourself, you're going to say, self, what kind of gear do I need to make my character the most efficient? And my voice, my voice is going to ring in your head. It's going to say, bro, you probably need your main weapon, your off weapon and your chest piece first and you're gonna be like well why do i need my main weapon off weapon the chest piece first because those are the three most important pieces of equipment that are going to change your life so what you're going to do is it's going to land you in abandoned iron mine eventually once your cp gets high enough for you to farm this and depending on your style of play some people are super try hard they got a lot of time they got a lot of focus a lot of attention that they can pay to the game because they ain't got nothing going on they're on vacation you know they work at home you know whatever the situation may be um they might be focused and if you're one of those types of players then i recommend that you guys farm one location until you're able to craft your ultimate laverto now, what I mean by that is it's going to take you nine one slot weapons to craft your ultimate Liberto. It's going to take you three two slot weapons. Yes, they do exist, even though, you know, you can only pretty much get them out of Shikatu Shop from what I've experienced. Other than the ultimate Liberto, which can drop because it's listed in the loot table here. But you guys are going to stay in that one location until you get all of the pieces that you need to fuse your ultimate Liberto. However, uh, if you're like me, you got ADD. What I recommend is that you look at, you just get your one orange staff, get your one slot, or you farm in a location until you get one and then move to the next location, get your next piece of gear. So that way you're 
rotating and seeing fresh scenery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, the other type of person is if you have stuff to do. You got things to do. You got work. You got life. You only got a few hours a day uh, to play this game. You're in Black Spirit most of the time. Listen, you're still going to do what I just said. <laughs> I thought you were going to do something different. No, still going to do the same thing. Uh, but the big thing here is you want to make sure you maximize your time because you want to lock in those pieces of gear. And the reason why I say weapon, sub weapon from Omar Lava Cave, okay, and then chest piece is because especially with chest piece, you're not going to see a location to farm chest piece again until you're like 5,000 CP. All right. So take advantage of this location here and farm these chess pieces out. Now, if you're watching this video in 2021 where the entire game has changed and you can farm chess pieces in your closet now, then hey, listen, you know, obviously we would have covered this because you guys are watching my weekly buyer's guide where we update the guides of the game every single week in a video to kind of let you guys know how the meta shifts and what should change. Okay. So make sure you watch those videos every week. But, um, other than that though, if you guys are not watching this in the year 2027, chess pieces here, um, you're going to want to knock out before you do pretty much anything else, right? So get your main weapon, get your sub weapon from the live cave and then knock your chess piece out because this is literally your only opportunity until much much later granted you can get orange drops from boss rushes you can get orange drops from world boss you can get orange orange drops from ancient ruins but due to the low probability we're just not going to rely on that and so this is what i recommend now in terms of making the most of your time is when you pick a location to farm right you're just going to combine the efforts of your Shikatu coins that you guys are getting. You guys are going to draw for the same piece of gear that you are farming for. So if you're farming for chess pieces in Mains Cave, then you guys are also going to pull for chess pieces. You're going to do everything in your life, eat, sleep, dream, chess pieces, until you get everything that you need. Now you guys heard me talk about crafting gear. Because crafting gear was a very recent addition to the game here at the Blacksmith. And from my understanding, you can craft them at any time. I don't, I don't, if I don't, if I remember, I don't know if there's a specific level that you have to have Forge Mystical, but if Forge Mystical is not available in your Blacksmith, up, upgrade the bad boy, okay? Um, but with Forge Mystical, guys, and this is why I say you're going to need, like, a lot of stuff, because if you guys look at this, we're going to scroll down here, you guys are going to need nine, okay? One slot oranges. So if you guys can see here, this Less Staff, uh, this Aswell Staff, and this Uria Staff are all two slot staffs. So with the two slot staffs, you guys are going to need three one slot oranges to make one two slot, right? And this is why I said when you guys are pulling with your Shikatsu coins that you guys are going to get from Boss Rush's Ancient Ruins packs, however you guys are doing this, this is why you're going to all out focus because the faster you can get the two slots, hopefully you get lucky enough to pull the two slot, um, you know, like a bear, a bar staff, Barret staff, Uria staff whatever or from the shop so this can speed up your ultimate laverto progression right for your weapons right with that laser like focus this will allow you to do this a lot quicker however if you pull ultimate laverto from shikatu then you can just sell the rest of your proceeds and then just move on to the next piece of gear so you're going to do the same thing here with your helmet with your chest piece gloves boots etc ultimately with your goal being to get full ultimate everything gear then once you start getting to a point where you're going to be stuck with a piece of gear for a long time, specifically like your two slide, because you might be stuck with your two slide gear for a long time, um, not the Grunil gear, but the gear before it, this is when you're going to really start getting into enchants and making sure that your enchants, you know, can, you know, do what you need them to do. And that's where you're really going to start going all in. Now, if you guys are dead set on enchanting your gear before you get to Ultimate Laverto, or if you guys want to do it even when you have a one slot orange, I recommend just going until you get the stat that you need and then stop. Don't try to maximize stats. So like if you get an attack plus four, an attack plus three or defense plus three, just roll with it because you don't want to waste too many of your essences trying to get stats on gear that you're just going to swap out anyway because unfortunately when you guys craft your gear uh your enchants and your crystals obviously don't carry over so you have to pay pearls to remove your crystals okay and then you'll also have to lose your enchants and re-enchant so if you guys don't have an access of powder you guys could find yourself in a sticky situation so this is why i'm talking about make sure it's efficient now on the plus side when you guys do craft your gear so let's say you had a two slot orange helmet that was level 40 when you put that 40 piece in there 
whatever gear you craft from the blacksmith is going to come out as level 40 right so rest assured that your quality of life is safe now i know a question that a lot of you guys have is like all right d you told us what to do you told us how to get gear you explained to us everything that we don't need to do and how to actually get the gear but how do we actually level the gear in a way that's efficient well how are you going to do that young padawans is you guys are just gonna go through this story. Like I said, you guys are gonna go through the story, you guys are gonna get a lot of stuff, you guys are gonna do this. Understand that plusing your gear is a very slow process. However, I will offer some cash shop tips if you guys are playing this and these packs are still available. If they're not available, you can still utilize these techniques from hoarding, from drops that you'll get from World Vaults, Ancient Ruins, etc. So the big thing here is obviously you guys are gonna need black stones. Uh, a, a kicker is you guys are gonna wanna upgrade your refinery as fast as you can so you guys get that steady flow of passive black stone income. Blackstones are probably the most valuable thing in this game, hands down. They're worth more than anything. So make sure you guys protect your blackstones. Now, what I don't recommend doing, guys, is I know in the market things can get a little dicey. So when you go to the enhancement, you guys are going to see these blackstones. You guys are going to see them. Right now, blackstones are selling for a ridiculous amount. Apologies for the dog in the background. That's not my dog. That's my neighbor's dog. I think they like locked it in a bathroom or something. But yeah, we, we apparently have a puppy chorus in our background. Yep. So, this is <laughs> yeah, so uh, with the black stones, guys, um, it can be tempting to buy them to feel like you need to rush. And this is why I say rushing things in this game is not really beneficial. It's going to cost you a lot of time, a lot of money, especially if you're rushing your enchants and you enchant at anything less than like 100 percent and you fail, especially at gear that's 35 plus, you're going to hate your life for a good 24 hours. OK, so listen, guys, patience and then just kind of grinding this out. Now, if you guys are of the pay to win variant to your best deals, you guys are going to go to packages and you guys are going to look at the uh, black refined black crystal weapon and armor set chest. Like honestly, guys, like this is super RNG, but this is the best bang for your buck if your gear is 30 or above. If your gear is 30 or above, definitely, 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 these are the way to go just because it's so expensive to get your gear from 30 to 31, 30 to 32, 35 to 36, 39 to 40. This is the way that I did it. Well, granted, all my gear was 35 when I started to use these, but it's it's pretty painless. Now, on the flip side of this, just a word of caution, um, you could roll all 90 of these and get nothing, and they cost 500,000 silver a pop. So it is a little risky, but I still say it's worth because just to give you guys an idea at the cost of grand blackstones right now, just to get one level is like a few hundred million, like 400 million, 500 million, half a billion silver and in chance if you guys were to buy them out of, out of the shop. Okay. So refined is probably the best way to go. If you guys are above level 30, if you guys are below level 30, I can't say that I hard recommend these regular ones, but hey, but if you're below level 30, anything below level 30, you can just crank these out and use those too. But I'm gonna leave that up to your discretion, although I don't recommend them, hint, hint. Other than that, guys, if you guys are early game, like like in terms of plusing your gear, then obviously any type of pack, I would wait for new character packs or all-inclusive packs that actually just come with Grand Weapon Black and Armor Stones instead of buying them individually. But then, then, and only then what I say are these packs worth to buy in the shop if you guys are of the pay to win variant. But like I said, everybody else, I would look for the all inclusive packs and all that stuff like that. Um, so you guys can go ahead and, you know, obviously make the biggest bang for your buck because the all inclusive normally come with pets and horses and pretty much everything that you would ever need um, as a starter player. If you guys are on a limited budget and trying to make the most of your actual IRL coin. But other than that, guys, getting Blackstones and stuff is just a matter of going through the game and doing the things that you need to do uh, you know boss rushes stuff like that ancient ruins forging your alchemy stones as much as you can and really just maximizing your CP so you guys can get to this point here in terms of accessories guys uh, just get the best that you can if you can get full yellow do full yellow and just stay there you don't really need much more than full yellow uh, back in the day blue plus five and blue plus ten was worth it but nowadays with accessory resonance I would just get yellows especially now that they just reduce the cost in the shop uh, or in the accessory shop of yellows and you could buy like a ring for like 270 
28 black pearls and with that guys it'll really set you up in a way that a you can get the resonance and then as you get accessories or uh, we get to a point in the game where you can actually farm accessories from stages because that is coming okay uh, then you can then start to upgrade your accessories and then everything else from there is super rng like costume fusion and stuff like that make sure you guys are crafting your costumes you know when you can and you're crafting your weapons right so you can start rolling on those costumes as soon as you have your seasonal equipment hold don't even try to push it don't try to bend max just get the minimum until you get to a point where you can afford the maximum and then from there everything else is is cut and dry plain to see and you guys are smooth sailing so with that being said guys that's all i wanted to cover hopefully this cleared up a lot of questions that you guys might have had about getting your gear and what you needed to do to really set yourself up in a way to get your cp higher um just again if you guys have full yellow gear level 40 with just yellow accessories that's enough to get the 4,000 cp and then everything after that is just bonus okay so it's not too crazy i'm sure um as more content comes out they're going to come out with more ways to get cp and as we update we do the weekly update video that i told you guys about before um, we'll give you guys the updates as to what changes in terms of your progression order based on the new content that comes out so with that being said guys thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys get any questions comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and i'd be happy to assist and with that being said we will see you guys in the next video peace